scored a second goal, he gave him a little boot up the backside. Why, why was that? He, was, he just kicked him. <laughs> no, because we have the no, because the people maybe sometimes misunderstand because it's obviously uh, I have a, my my way to celebrate with my players. I know how to uh, encourage them it, uh, to, to to don't give up because uh, I thought uh, now he's called the second goal. Maybe we have a tactical uh, strategy against Oxford. So, we know that if they have time and space to deliver this ball, uh, diagonal ball, a long ball in the second ball when they flick the ball, we're in trouble. Uh, we have to spend all the energy to press everywhere because uh, even if they miss uh, five yards of the target for us is crucial otherwise they can deliver it with the precision and I was sure that if I didn't give uh, maybe the kick in his bottom he, the first few minutes he go you know blurry because excited about the two goals so I know my chicken or always I call my young player chicken I have to um, let them understand that uh, they don't have to give up. This was uh, my way to kick his butt and say, oh, now don't give up, don't relax, yeah. don't switch off because we're in trouble. Paolo, you must be excited about the way things are progressing in general this season. I mean, that's five games unbeaten, things are on a roll. Yeah, I can't uh, tell you, I don't want to exaggerate. Sometimes uh, people think uh, you're Paolo Di Canis, exaggerate because he wanted the, the maximum. The ma yeah, I wanted the maximum. It's obvious that. Uh, what we achieve straight away this year to compare with uh, the start of the last season uh, is something amazing because a new league, different level. We bought, uh, we we won against Brighton three 0 at home. Uh, we won today for three against Sox City. Uh, the little uh, the little that I wasn't enjoyed the, that we considered three goals in the way we did, but Sox City can happen. And then we won the two home games. Obviously, there was a one game away, Hartlepool that didn't make me enjoy. Uh, but like you say, five games, uh, consider only today three goals. Uh, the previous four games uh, we considered zero goal, all clean sheet, and we scored. It's something good, but it's obvious it's not the best, it's not the maximum. And now my worry is uh, that uh, this game uh, can um, let the player thinking that uh, maybe now we can do what you want. No, no. Only if we maintain this uh, desire, discipline and quality, we can do something good in a league because our league is completely different the football we saw tonight in my opinion always i said to to the people that probably we are more a championship side in the way we play football for us it will be difficult and tough to go in a place like hartlepool where uh, the ball is everywhere where everybody kick uh, jump and uh, we have to be good to handle this situation are are my player good in this i hope is the manager good in this to let them understand uh, that the league uh, will be completely different every single game, every single Saturday or Tuesday? So this is my question. At the moment, I really believe that uh, we can do a good job because already we beat also make it on, so that is one of the favorite team in this league. But if I have a little worry, is after tonight game. For this, I told my players, enjoy. We travel back to his window and you deserve two hours and a half traveling back. Smile, have a fun. I can't do this because uh, from now I'm thinking about Preston. Because I'm the general. You are the soldier that go in a battle. And normally the battle in a uh, no, uh, Roman Empire used to the general used to celebrate for one minute, think of the next battle. They the soldier they deserve the night, they celebrate. I don't tell them to go out and drink wine, but Celebrate in terms of have fun, enjoy. But straight away from tomorrow, we have to think that in four days' time, we have a hard game away from home. Preston tonight won for one. So they have confidence and desire. If we are not capable to recharge the battery in here more than physically, because physically we are strong, you can see our physical condition. There is no doubt that we have a very good condition physically. If we are not good in here, we are in real trouble. So this is only my worry. But this year, I have more confidence that we don't lose this because with Tommy Miller, Navarro, experienced footballer with knowledge, there is less risk. Last year, I had a group of very young fellas. It was difficult to let them understand this. This year, with the three, four more adult players, I have uh, I can receive help from them. You know, it, this job is doesn't come don't have to come only from me, but also for my adult players. That's two Premier League teams. 
Yeah, uh, in 15 months, uh, to be honest, if uh, we're talking about uh, a little tournament of the, 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 the teams that uh, we beat, uh, at the moment they were one league, two league, three league above of us, we have one lose against Leicester, where we played anyway very well, a good football, and we have Colchester, Bristol City away, Wigan at home, uh, two nice Stock City, and then we bought, uh, uh, we lo we won against Hardestfield at home when uh, we were in League Two. So in seven games, six win, we were at the at the top against the side uh, better than us. It's not an accident. Even if it's another season, a new season, different. But in 15 months, my team, the base is uh, same de la Sia. We brought in another four, five players, six in total. But tonight we had on the field only four of them. That is not uh, anymore an accident because one time a giant kill uh, can happen for accident. But in the way we played against all those sides, we deserve all those wins, and especially tonight we did something special job. Thank you.